Hey everyone and welcome back. Yet here's another video collaborating with International Center of Arts and Technology. I hope you enjoyed the previous video and in today's video I'm going to show you how to put makeup with considering that you have a beard. So a beard could be a trim beard, long beard, short beard, little beard, a lot of beard, white beard, fake beard, paper beard, or um, a black type of a pigmentation that you painted on to look like a beard. So with considering having this much of your face covered, I'm going to show you how I do my makeup when I want to get ready to do drag. So, so the first thing I do when I want to get into getting ready to put makeup on my face, the first thing I do is I put a head cap on or a wig cap. So this is just to know where my face ends and where are the areas that this will cover. So I will know that a wig will cover those areas. So I'll be right back. So the first thing that I would always do before putting any makeup on is that I use any type of moisturizer to um, kind of prepare my skin, you know, the better uh, you take care of your skin and then apply makeup on, the better the makeup will look. So what I did just right now, I just went and I washed my face um, with a face wash. And now I'm just applying moisturizer to my face and letting it um, kind of sit on for a little bit so that I have a healthy, glowing, hydrated um, skin. And then when I know that my skin is ready, I go in and I apply the makeup. Now what you want to do is when you have like painting of a beard on or an actual beard like this or a fake beard in any type of form, you want to readjust how you would normally put makeup on. So to make, to make it um, a little bit easier, it's kind of like baking. So you have your wet ingredients and you have your dry ingredients. Now for this video, I'm going to show you first the wet ingredients that we're going to use on the face. So we're going to use three different um, shades that I want to apply to my face. First, we have a base shade where it would go all over your face. And this is the liquid foundation that I use. Um, you can go to Shoppers or London Drug or Dollar Store and pick your foundation. Um, the, if you don't know your foundation color or like the skin color that would go with the foundation, check with the um, sales associate there and they will help you. So I have a foundation base. I have a concealer where I will brighten up certain spots so that my face would, you know, pop. And then the next thing that I have is a bronzer. So for this video, I'm using Patrick Ta. I bought this from Sephora. What this has, it's as I said, kind of like baking. It has your wet ingredient and your dry ingredient, which we will use this first. And then when we're ready and everything is done, I'll show you when to use the dry one. So as I mentioned, first we start with the wet ingredients. So I'm gonna grab the foundation and I'm gonna grab my sponge. I usually use a cloudy type of sponge and I kinda, um, I wash it and then I dry it well, but it's still moist because it will absorb the, the foundation less. So I'm gonna apply this all over my face in a little bit and I'll show you. So I'm grabbing the liquid foundation. I always put it on my hand. You can wear a glove or you can put it on a surface and you can clean up afterwards. I apply it on my hand and then I go in with the sponge and apply it anywhere but my beard. So anywhere on my upper face and my neck. So here we go.
Now, one more thing. When you're applying foundation, don't forget the skin exposures here. And don't worry about getting a little bit of it on your beard. So you want to hide your lips and then apply it on your mouth area. Now that your foundation or the base liquid is applied, I'm going to go with the concealer. Now, some people choose to do the concealer first and then the bronzer, but some people do the oppositely, I think. But this is how I do it. So, you grab the concealer. There are certain areas of your face that you want to add it to when you're doing um, the type of drag that I do. So it's under the eye and don't be shy. Go as low as you can go. Just like that. And then it's the middle of the forehead. You don't need to apply too much. And then the bridge of the nose to give an illusion of a very straight, thin nose, just like that. And then the same sponge, you flip it and you use a clean side of it, basically. And you just tap, tap, tap and blend it in the area that you applied it. Don't go very far from where you applied it from and keep it in the same area, consistent area. And as you can see, I didn't put anything on my beard. And that's it. It took less than a second. <laughs> now in this stage, we go to the liquid side of the bronzer. So as I mentioned, um, it's kind of like baking, so we only deal with the um, liquid or yeah, liquid ingredients. So I'm going to scoop some of this out and then put it on a surface and then start um, applying it to my face. So when you're applying the cream bronzer, you want to go from the tip like on the top of your ears, find a spot and then turn it to 45 degrees. And then you want to go down from there so that it gives you kind of a pull rather than anything else. So it's giving you the pull and then you keep applying. And don't worry if it doesn't look as um, pigmented because this is just the liquid ingredients as I mentioned and once we go in with the dry ingredients it's going to actually show you know a huge difference and it's going to show the bronze really nicely but before going with complete dry ingredients you can add blush now if you don't have this again this is a Patrick Ta blush set so it has a liquid part on the top or a cream part and a powder part at the bottom so if you don't have this it's totally fine you can skip that but i usually do a cream uh, type of a blush right in my cheek and then i kind of apply it so that i know what um, i'm going to work with a little bit later on so I'm applying the cream blush to give myself just a little bit of blush and then I will play with it even further more to kind of like make it more seamless and blend it nicer. So when you want to blend, you just go around the area that you apply. So you apply and it's there and then you go around it with the beauty blender to kind of make it look um, more seamless and, you know, make it look nicer. So now that this part is done, I'm going to go and powder. Now powdering is basically when you're cooking, well, I'm not a baker, but if you're cooking like a brownie and you have all of your liquid ingredients in, you add flour and then you mix 
and then you add baking powder and all the other stuff. So there's no mixing, it's just more of applying. So I'm grabbing a fluffy brush like this. See how fluffy it is? I'm grabbing a fluffy brush and then I'm grabbing my loose um, beauty powder. And then I apply it to the lid and I just go and apply it all over my face. So I start with the middle of the forehead. Try not to talk because the powder would go in and try not to breathe. So hold your breath for a few seconds and then you can start breathing again. <laughs> So everything that we did, now we're going to do the dry part. So first, I'm going to do the bronzer. I'm going to grab a nice brush like this. And then remember the bronzer that we had the cream and, uh, and the powder? Now we're going to use the powder. And we're going to do the same motion that we did with the cream. So I apply some, not not. We do that because we don't want it to be a strong punch. And then you kind of do this motion and you apply it in the same area that you apply the cream. The only difference is with the powder, we want to go around the hairline area because when you wear a wig, you kind of want it to look like your own hair so you just apply a little bit there too just to give it a more darker contrast than what it is so you just go around the hairline and don't worry of getting it onto your like wig cap it's totally fine now we want to do the nose when you do the nose you want to be very careful just go around the tip of your nose don't cover the whole thing and just um, play with it. It's fun. I apply a little bit on the sides, like so. You're done with that. Now we want to do the blush side for the blush side you want to grab a very loose um, brush Not this. Okay. oh something like this very loose and remember we had the cream side and the dry side so we're going in with the dry side just that, so that it doesn't look extremely pigmented. And we blended from the cheek and collided with the bronzer. So for my lips, I will be using MAC Cosmetics Lipstick. So it's just like that. You want to apply it on your lips and if you get um, lipstick on other spots don't worry just clean it again use the liquid foundation around the areas that you want to fix and then reapply so here we go with the lipstick and that is the lipstick part on top of that, I want to use a lip gloss. Again, this is by Patrick Ta, and it's called She's an Influencer. And we want to do this and go on top of the lipstick. So that's it. Next thing I'm going to do is my eyebrows. Now. For the purpose of this video, I just wanted to show how you put makeup on with a beard on. 
but um, you can check my other YouTube videos to learn how to do different eye makeups on because it's a whole different uh, video. So I recommend using any color that you like. Just blend it and uh, make it look nice and um, it'll go with this face. Any color you use. So I'm not going to do the eye makeup in front of the camera but I'm going to do the eyebrows so that um, you get an idea of how to do your eyebrows. So for the eyebrow part, I use an eyeshadow and what I do, instead of using the color black, I use the color brown. Where can I put this? I use the color brown and I just make my brows look more present. So I just go over my natural brows. A lot of drag queens and drag artists, they block their brows and they paint a new one. I don't do that because um, I like to use my natural brows when I do drag. So it's kind of a, um, it's kind of a personal, matter. If you like, you can block it and paint. If you don't, you can just, you know, just paint. Now, this arch here I'm going to ignore and pretend my brows end here and then go up. But this don't worry about that, I'm just going to make it disappear with a little bit of a concealer and make it as if it never existed, or at least try. It's not going to completely cover it, but still it's going to cover it enough so that it doesn't um, show aggressively. And that's some powder. And that's it. That's one of the brows at least. Now I'm going to use a sharper brush again. Maybe even sharper than that that I was using. Yeah. And I'm going into black, not pitch black, maybe a lighter black, and then create hair strings within that area that I just created. You can skip that part as well if you want, but I like to give it more color. Now I'm going to go do the other eyebrow and I'm going to finish up my eye look and I'm going to come back and show you the full look and then apply the highlighter on. So stay tuned. So now that we have the eye done, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to use a holographic highlighter as well instead of that um, white pink um, glossy one and I'm just going to make this a little bit more futuristic spaceship type of a vibe and with highlighter never be shy never so you're not shy and you apply as much as you please and trust me it's gonna look amazing so I applied it on top of my cheek and I'm gonna go apply it on my brow bone or above the brow and just kind of give it a spaceship, um, I don't know, like type of a holographic look. And um, I'm gonna do the same with the other side. So I'm gonna apply the highlighter on top of my brow bones, but not as um, strong as I applied it to my cheeks. So I'm being very gentle and precise and that's it. 
I'm gonna go put on my costume and my wig and I'll be right back to show you the finishing result. And here's the final look and the result for today. So what I did, I just applied some more highlighter on top of the highlighter that I applied. I know it sounds crazy, but just go have fun, apply as much as you want. And I applied a um, few, like a pair of eyelashes on as well, where you can buy from drug stores or Sephora or beauty stores. And I have this white, gray and dark wig on and um, I have a tool dress on as well. So thank you so much for watching. Make sure you do drag and express yourself around people who love you and it's a safe space because safety matters, safety's first and express yourself and enjoy it regardless of um, how good or how perfect the outcome is. What matters is you um, try it, enjoy it and have fun with it. Thank you for watching this tutorial and I cannot wait to see you all next time.